Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, we're going to talk some Battlefield 2042, and specifically, which specialist I think is the best and you should be using most of the time. So let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, let's get right into it and talk about why I think Angel, or Angel, is the best specialist in Battlefield 2042 at the current moment. And I'll start out by saying, yes, Angel is a smarmy douche. Hmm. Now this is a squad I'm happy to be part of. It's not saying a whole lot considering the specialists in this game are across the board pretty goddamn irritating, especially when it comes to their either pre-game quips or during-game quips or post-game quips or class loadout quips. All the fucking quips in this game are cringe as fuck. But you put that aside and Smarmy Angel is, I believe, hands down the best specialist in Battle for 2042. I'm gonna try not to slip and call him an operator because I keep wanting to do that. Um, but the reason why is I think he's the best all-around specialist. Each of the specialists have their own specialization, right? Something specific that they're really good at. But with Angel, he does like all the things. He can give himself and his teammates ammo and armor. He can revive teammates as a medic and when he revives them, they gain armor automatically, and he can call in a loadout drop that both himself and his team can use, which allows you to either completely switch your loadout or refill all of your ammo, including special equipment like motion sensors, anti-armor rockets. It is extremely powerful, and going through the different specialists, like, I struggle to find a reason to even play with any of the other ones, Except for maybe every once in a while if I'm feeling spicy and I want to wingsuit around to try and get some flanks on people. But really, Angel is the way to go. So let's break down all of the little things that he can do and why you should consider using Angel. Honestly, until they fix him? Add someone else that's better? Okay, so let's talk about first his piece of equipment that you get. In that the first thing that it does is allows you to place down up to three ammo slash armor kits at a time. Kind of like a small armor bag you would as like a medic in a previous game. This allows you to just dump down three of these and you can pick it up for yourself and add 20 points of armor to yourself. Every time you're Angel, you spawn in, the first thing you should do is be giving yourself free HP. You just get armor and anytime you get shot, anytime you get shot, give yourself a refresh on armor and you will have 120 HP all the time. <laughs> And everybody else either has to switch an equipment slot for it or be killed and revived by you <laughs> in order to get that extra armor. Um, he, because of the, the, the equipment that he has, I feel like you don't need to carry an ammo bag with Angel because A, he can give himself ammo for his weapons. The ammo drop that he gives himself won't refill his special equipment like his rockets or even motion sensors, um, which is honestly... A little disappointing I can't refill my own motion sensors with that because I like having an ammo bag to do that But at the same time it would be even more unfair and unbalanced if you could do that But you can drop in the big loadout drop and refill your motion sensors and your rockets and whatever else you'd like uh, as Angel um, So he doesn't need the ammo bag as his piece of equipment He doesn't need armor as his piece of equipment because he has that as well And he doesn't need I don't think the medic bag as his equipment because even though his little armor drop doesn't refill your HP immediately it does instantly give you 20 HP of armor even if your other the rest of your health hasn't regened which is a nice little shot until you let your full health regen kick in I I have found that it is so versatile that really I haven't found a need to put those which is nice because it means that anytime I'm playing as Angel across my loadouts I can use a more useful piece of equipment like anti-armor rockets, anti-air. Um, it's just more flexible. You can use attack insertion if you want to. Like, Not 
because the class-based system in this game is essentially broken now, which is sad to say, Angel's even more critical from that standpoint because he allows you to provide armor and ammo and loadouts to your team and also to yourself <laughs> because your teammates really aren't going to do it. You might get revived by teammates, um, but usually squad mates, but that's even not that common. That said, I don't think I mentioned that as well. Angel's also a medic. <laughs> And did I forget to mention that? Oh yeah, in addition to all that other shit, he can also revive anyone on his team, not just his teammates. Oh, I guess I did mention the fact that when he revives people, he revives them with armor. But it's just, he is, like in previous games, right? Like your engineer is like anti-armor and repair, which with Angel, you can set your special equipment to a repair tool or just call in a loadout drop, switch to a repair tool and be anti-armor. And then you can also, be a support because you can drop ammo and you can also be a medic because you can revive and heal and you can also be a sniper because you can just switch your kit and place attack insertion and have a sniper rifle he is battlefield 2042's one man army pro it, it i can't be, i honestly kind of can't believe it's in the game and I, i've seen quite a few people talking about how good angel is but i haven't seen them talking about the fact that He's borderline broken with as much as he'll allow you to do. It's especially in a system where they're trying to create all of these different specialists that you can use. There's like no reason to use anything else. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. So because he can also be a good everything, a good support, like he's not just good for solo play, although I feel like he's kind of essential <laughs> if you're lone wolfing, because you can give yourself ammo, you can give yourself loadout changes, like if you're by yourself and you need to switch from an SMG to a sniper, you can do that all by yourself. Um, but he's also good at teamwork. When you're around teammates, you can reply their, re resupply their ammo, you can re resupply their armor, you can revive them, you can drop them new loadouts. He's like the ultimate solo and team specialist. I, it's it's incredible, and, and because you can drop up to three of these ammo packs at a time, ammo slash armor packs at a time, you can give armor and ammo to a bunch of people, and it regens super quick. Like basically, every, if you use all three of them, basically I've gotten in a habit. Anytime I use them, I put down all three, even if it's just me giving myself health and armor. I just always dump down three every single time, and they regen so fast. If I dump down three, pick up some armor, go get in a gunfight, get hit take cover, I can dump more, and I can get my armor back, and I can go out and shoot. It's incredible. It's, it's absolutely almost broken, but but it's but it's great. Um, and then the loadout drops are another thing that is just so amazingly powerful, not just for you by yourself, but for your teammates as well. Uh, if you're pushing in like breakthrough, right, and you guys move to a next objective, I've seen this before where you just get a line of angel loadouts across the front line so people can switch to an attacking kit or maybe they can start sniping as the, as people are pushing forward or i've been locked down before and i've dropped myself an uh loadout as extra cover right so i'm behind a rock from one side of me shot from the other side i drop in a loadout and now it's kind of providing me cover from the other side in addition to the fact that now i can switch from having a smg or an assault rifle to having a sniper and i can even counter snipe back at the people who are attacking me and if a tank rolls up I can switch to a rock. It's it's fantastic. The the loadout drops are very powerful and they come in super fast. They also recharge. So in a single life you can call them multiple multiple times. And it's it's very helpful. It does seem like there's a short cooldown like you can't like use it and then immediately turn around and use it again. You have to wait for the cooldown, but okay, it's not that long. <laughs> a minute maybe. Um so and the loadouts if you're not switching your loadout entirely, if, say, you're attacking a tank because they soak up so many rockets, say you fire all three of your rockets, with your loadout drop there, you can switch to your same kit that you're using or to a different kit that has rockets, but you can switch to the exact same kit you brought and it'll refill everything. Full rockets, full motion sensors, full grenades, full ammo, like everything instantly so you can and not only that but i've noticed that i think you start with three rockets if you're using like the recoilless um but if you use the ammo drop you get like plus one so you get like four so you start out with three you drop yourself an ammo drop you can fire three rockets at a tank reload get four more and fire those and honestly in the time it takes you to fire and reload four rockets 
your cooldown will be over, you can get another kit, and, like, it's infinite rockets, it's infinite motion sensors, it's infinite everything. And you can switch to snipers, semi-auto DMRs, SMGs, assault rifles. It's... I, have I convinced you yet that you should be using it? Because <laughs> you should be. Um, have I perhaps convinced you as well that the specialist system in Battlefield is yet more broken even than some people have already started to say, which... That's a different video. We're talking about good stuff right now, which is if you want to have fun playing Battlefield 2042 right now, I think Angel is the way to go. Don't, what do you guys think? What specialists are you using? I see a lot of people with wingsuits out there. I get confused every time I'm in 2042 and I look out and I'm shooting at enemies and they're not all Angel. I wonder what people are thinking. What are you guys using? What do you think? Do you love Angel? Do you think he's the best? Do you think he's the worst? Who's better? How are you playing? Are you playing the game? I've been playing a lot of Halo. Oops, I didn't mention that. Okay, if you guys like this video, leave me a like. If you don't like it, leave me a dislike. Subscribe for more stuff and things in Wheezy Rambles. And I'll talk to you in the next one.